Hello everyone and welcome to another video in my Tailspire beta release tips and tricks series that will hopefully help you if you have the Tailspire beta and are trying to learn and understand the different tools that are involved in it or even if you have picked it up after the early release has come out and you're trying to figure things out. For this video, we will actually be covering a couple things that I mentioned in the first video that I don't think I really covered adequately. Uh, one of those will be creating campaigns, going to make sure I cover that again, as well as joining campaigns. I know I didn't really go over that one. I mentioned it, but didn't cover it. And a couple other quick things that I didn't cover, we're going to talk about once we get into the campaign. So, first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go from my main start screen here to begin and now I've got my campaigns uh, they've got the change log up here now because we're in beta and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new campaign so I say create new now I can create a campaign before my players can join a campaign I have to create one so here as the DM I am creating a campaign and I'm just gonna call this one uh, campaign to join okay. and I'm going to submit that now I'm going to select that on the screen here so that I can play it so once this screen loads up I will have a blank map to work with now I can start building in this map and doing all sorts of things but I want my players to be able to join in this campaign so that I can put them on whatever maps that I build in here and you know have fun with the game so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the space bar because that is gonna bring up these tools over here on the left I can see I've got my boards icon okay my campaign settings icon and my atmosphere settings icon okay, up here in the top left so that second one the campaign settings if I click on that I get this campaign settings window that opens up and in there, it's going to have an invite player section and a campaign player section. This will tell me the player's name and their role. So right now it only has me as the owner because I'm the only one here. But if I had players who had already joined this campaign, then it would have their name and then role of player. Okay? Of course, no one can have already joined it because I just made it. But now I want people to join. So I go to this invite player section where I can generate an invite code. So when I click on this, and first, I'm going to put up a little further block here. When I click on this, it will generate an invite code. Now, what you can see on here is this little X okay, right here to basically get rid of that code completely. And then in here, underneath the fuzzy block, would be the actual code. Uh, it is looks like ch ch seven letters and or numbers combined there is also a little button right here that's kind of covered up a hair by this block so maybe I can just move it over just a hair so that you can actually see that boom right there so now you can see this little button here that will allow you to copy the code so now you could send that to one of your players in an email or Discord or wherever. You know, you just copy and paste. Okay, so I click on that little button. It copies that code, and I can then paste it into an email or uh, some other message to that. You know, to those players. Okay, then every one of those players can use that invite code to join the game. And the way they would do that is first, I'm going to get rid of that and I'll get rid of my fuzzy block and then I will go ahead and go close that and I'm gonna exit out to my main menu yes I wanna go to my main menu so once again here I am on the main menu and in my main menu once I go to begin here's my campaigns now at the bottom I have join campaign so here when I wanna join a campaign my players you know they get that code they can open up tailspire and come to this screen and they can just type that co code in and then click on the join button and once they do that they will now be connected to that campaign 
and you'll be able to see them in that campaign. So now I am going to go to a different campaign here because I've just I've got some stuff in here, not a lot, but I've got a little bit built in here. But here I've got some stuff that I built. So the next thing I want to talk about is a part of your building kit. When I hit B for my build mode, okay, I get all my building tools that arrive and I can see all of them. I can see all my different tile selections over here for actual tiles or for creatures and depending on what I want to work with. But I also have, oh look, see all this at the bottom? This is something I do not believe I talked about in any of my previous videos. This is like a, a hotbar for items. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear it out just by clicking on it and dragging whatever's in there out of there. But let's say I want to build something in this map that I'm on, on my game board here. And I know exactly what I want to build, and I don't want to go searching through all this to get the generic pieces, because I, I know mostly what I need. Let's say I'm going to build something like a tavern, and I got all these tavern blocks. Well, what ones do I know that I'm going to use? Well, I know I'm going to use the tavern floor one by ones. Uh, so let me use, I'll put that in there. Um, I'm going to use this uh, tavern in corner block number two. Uh, in previous videos I've mentioned, I like to use the the blocks for walls and things that are not connected to a floor. They do have those in here that are connected to floors. I prefer to use the ones that aren't connected to floors and then add, uh, you know, put the floor down individually myself. So that's kind of why I'm grabbing blocks. But you can do it, you know, whatever blocks you want. And it's as simple as what I've been doing here. I find the item I want in the list here. I left click and hold on that item and I drag it over down to the location within that hot bar that I want to drop it in. And there it is. And I just keep doing that with all the, the different pieces I, I want and need. And let's see, where is the wall section that I want? There we go, tavern wall. So I want that right there. I'll throw in this wall with a window in there as well. You know, so I can grab different things that I need that way. Now, I can go ahead and close that all out so I don't even have to have that open. I get more of a viewing space for what I want to work with. So then I can come down to my hotbar and I simply click on the item in the hotbar that I want and now I've picked it up. So now I can, just like in previous videos I've showed you, click and drag a, a section like that. And I've just put all these tavern floor one by one blocks in here. And then I can go in and pick up different things, different pieces. And oh, there's a corner there. Center mouse wheel click will rotate it. So I can put it there, rotate it, put one there, rotate again, put one there. Grab my wall pieces, I'll put one there, put one there, I'll put one here, oop, and here, and I just noticed I messed up on this one. So again, just hold down shift, left click, and I picked it up again. Now I can put it there, and I still have a copy of it that I can use. Now I'm going to rotate it, my center mouse wheel click, and then I'm going to rotate my map so I can... Get these here, go on there, one there, and let's grab the window and center mouse click to rotate it. Put one there, put one here, put one here. Oh look, I have now just built all that off of the hot bar. So this is just a, a quick video, a little bit shorter than my others in the series. Wanted to point out the toolbar, so you can use that and hopefully makes things a little quicker and easier for you. Also wanted to point out how to create and then join campaigns. Hopefully that's uh, a lot clearer now that it's been addressed. And that's going to be it for this video. Uh, as mentioned at the end of the last video, if there is any topics uh, that you guys are interested in uh, me covering in a future video for this series, please put that in the comments and let me know. If there is any maps, uh, like two-dimensional maps for uh, 
role-playing games or whatever that either you've made or you found online that you really like, and you would like to see me attempt to recreate those in Tailspire, go ahead and mark that in the comments and include a link to that map so that I can go to it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, see about trying to recreate some of those maps. Uh, I'll make that in a different series if anyone's interested in uh, actually having me try to rebuild some maps. Uh, if you like what this series is all about, please, if you would, uh, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can see the remaining videos of the series when and the new ones when they pop up on the YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, see each other again in the next video. Goodbye.